Your diesel exhaust system relies on diesel exhaust fluid. A gauge displays the diesel exhaust fluid level, and a warning light will activate any time the level gets too low. You'll find the DEF fluid cap in the fuel door. To add more fluid, remove the cap and insert the fill nozzle into the tank filler neck. Stop filling immediately if the fluid stops flowing from the fill bottle into the tank, if fluid splashes out of the filler neck, or at a fuel station if the pump nozzle automatically shuts off. Then reinstall the cap. Be sure to keep your diesel fuel and diesel exhaust fluids separate. If even a small amount of DEF gets into your diesel fuel tank, severe damage could occur in your engine, fuel pump, and injectors. If this happens, do not start the engine. Contact an authorized dealer. Likewise, never let anything other than diesel exhaust fluid into the DEF tank, or you may have to replace the entire DEF system. Always use separate containers, funnels, and nozzles for fuel and DEF. The water in fuel indicator light will illuminate when there is water detected in the fuel water separator filters. If this light remains on, do not start the vehicle before you drain the water from the filters. If water is detected in the filters while the engine is running or with the ignition in the on-run position, the water in fuel indicator light will illuminate and an audible chime will be heard five times. At this point, you should stop the engine and drain the water from the fuel water separators. There are two fuel filter assemblies. One is located on the driver's side of the engine. The best access to this water drain valve is from under the hood. The second one is on the underbody, located in front of the rear axle above the drive shaft on pickup models. The chassis cab model's second filter location is on the frame behind the front axle. The best access to these drain valves is from under the vehicle. To drain the separator filters when the indicator light is on, within 10 minutes of turning the engine off, turn the engine-mounted filter drain valve on the side of the filter housing, counterclockwise one-quarter turn to drain water that may have accumulated. Turn the underbody-mounted filter drain valve, located on the bottom of the filter housing, counterclockwise one full turn to drain water that may have accumulated in this filter. You'll need to put the ignition into the on-run position and allow any accumulated water to drain. Leave the drain valve open until all water and contaminants have been removed. When clean fuel is visible, close the drain valve following these guidelines. Rotate the drain clockwise until you feel resistance from the internal seal. Continue turning the drain one half of a turn to properly compress the seal. Over-compression of the seal due to over-tightening of the drain will damage the seal, cause a leak, and require the entire sensor to be replaced. Then, turn the ignition off. The drain sensor should not be over-tightened during normal service operations to avoid internal damage or future fuel leaks. The drain should be secured without the use of tools. This video is not intended to take the place of your owner's manual. For complete details and other important safety information, please see your owner's information.